Yes, hello. My name's Paul Lead from Extreme Marine in Echuca. Uh, also the Australian distributor of Harris Pontoon Boats. So here we are today. We're going to uh, pop down to my backyard, the mighty Murray River, and uh, have a little bit of talk about safety on the river and inland waters. It's a lot of different aspects and a lot of things to factor in when boating here on the river. So let's pop down and have a look. And here we are in my backyard, the mighty Murray River. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, as we mentioned earlier, the boats we sell. We've got Savage Aluminium Boats, Camaro Ski Boats, Harris Pontoon Boats, and of course we work on a lot of other variety of boats. And all of those boats have one thing in common, is safety. So we re really need to focus on safety here, not only on the Murray River, but all inland waters. Very much like the bay, they need to have the respect that the, the, you know, that the Port Phillip Bay and the coastal waters have. So here on the Murray River, it's a little bit different to the port, uh, the bays and the uh, Port Phillip Bay, etc. So we all have to think about safety. The main thing is the life jackets must be worn at all times. Look, life jackets are cool. They're nothing to shy away from. Even if you are swimming as well, always wear a life jacket. The river is dangerous and uh, you know, can be quite uh, testing at times. Uh, one of the other major factors we have here on the river is alcohol. And uh, of course, yes, we all enjoy a drink, but alcohol and boats do not mix. Um, we see it all the time and uh, you know you need to have respect for the river and the other users. Along with that, it comes into another few factors, things like wash uh, from the boats, you need to be vigilant and aware of other users on the river and just keep them in mind, um, you know, because not everyone's out there to be wakeboarding, someone might be just fishing or swimming or in kayaking, you know, so there's a lot of different uses here on the river. Some of the other things to consider here, when you're out on the river enjoying a beautiful day with the family and friends is uh, you know observe the safety measures and the the signs that are presented to you and pay note to them there's five knot zones here there's uh, no wash zones so you really need to be aware of them and they're not like in the port phillip bay where we have buoys and and you know sort of floating things all the time quite often here in the river because we haven't got the width they are in the trees on the side of the river so just be aware of those and keep those in the back of your mind Unlike the bay where you've got a, a lot of room here, the river is very narrow. So you need to be vigilant and be aware of other boaters and be aware of what the impact you are doing is on them. Okay, let me emphasize on uh, what we've just spoken about. First of all, it's cool to wear a life jacket, put them on. Second of all, alcohol and boats don't mix. Don't drink and get out in the boat. And third, just stay safe on the river and think about what other people are uh, doing on the river as well. So give that some consideration and remember, stay safe on the river and life better with a boat.